Holy shit, you see that? Man. Look at that, that's like $200 yeah, off the yeah, you know that I be mining every single freaking day I don't care about the enemy and I kill him anyway I need to get all the diamonds Welcome to California Gold Rush! Hello! Good morning ladies and gentlemen! Welcome to this California Gold Rush! Well... Dredging. Got Nick and Kevin they're already down there. I got the dredge down there early this morning. Had a few problems getting started. Nick has his uh, Gold Hog Raptor. So, I wasn't gonna, well, I had the wetsuit and everything all ready to go, but uh, it is absolutely beautiful out today. It's uh, high 80s. The water is very warm. So, uh, I didn't even bother. I'm just gonna keep going. I, I got wet when I was putting the dredge in the water, so I'm gonna keep going with shorts and shoes that I get on. Oh. But I, I dredged in this creek before. Got a little bit of gold, but it was a very short run. So I moved way down from where I was. I was way up through the woods up there before. But we got some spots down here with this exposed bedrock. There's uh, my nozzles right there. Right, the dredge right there. It's not really in the best setup. Just because of the high gravel here. Oh, high gravel right here. I had to build a little bit of wall, try to raise the water up. And I tried bringing my hose back this way to suck under the dredge a little bit, but it's not happening. So, I got some exposed bedrock right here. And it runs right back through here. I'm already down, it's about two and a half feet, three feet. That's on the edge though, so I'm going to punch in this way towards this rock line. You can see there's a big pile up right there jammed. The creek was actually over here and the boulders got jammed up and it's been pushing it that way. So this was the old center of the creek over here. So I'm going to try to just punch through here down to bedrock. Uh, Gold Hog Raptor. For the first time. First time ever running finally. it. This thing's a beast. This pump set up over there. I would have liked to get the dredge down here, but I, I should have gone up and around that tree. So I just punched it up there for now. See what happens. This is a nice looking spot here, though. We got some nice big boulders. Drops off down around this corner. Take this piece out. It's a huge patch of it. That is huge. It's all torn in.
there. And uh, well, Kevin and I both saw, thought we saw some gold going up the nozzles as we were working in this way, which is towards the center of the river where the big rocks at. So I wanted to go back that way, but I think I'm just gonna bang her right, right here, and come right into this. This thing's huge, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to move this. It's probably eight feet long and uh, pretty thick, so. We'll see what we can do, but either way, the, the bedrock's going up right there, and then I, I hit a nice little wall right here. So I'm gonna come right in this, I'm gonna imagine, and that's why these boulders got trapped here. There's probably a nice little shelf. So, we keep going. Nick's over there, he's been pounding away on that raptor. some hamburgers so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna give the dredge a little break take a look see what we can see for gold I don't know if we're gonna be able to see anything uh, I definitely didn't see anything when I just stopped it so I don't think we're gonna for the clip but we'll go over and take a look anyway maybe you'll see something I didn't see guys check out uh, gold chases on YouTube too they're up in uh, British Columbia Greg and Clint Good guys sent me up a bunch of stickers. I love it. I got a couple other guys actually while I'm onto that kick. We got flower gold on here, we got hit the explorer. Eh, I mean I don't know if there's gonna be anything big in this creek, but we'll find out. I don't see anything yet. But we got some last time we came up here, so there should be more. There's a lot of black sand built up in here. Black sand and granite sand. Yeah, there's definitely some gold in here. Every one of these is packed up. Well, go up, eat some lunch. Abracadabra, we're back at it. And then uh, we'll do a cleanup and we gotta get out of here. We're not staying overnight, so. We gotta do our thing and get out of here. Alright, to camp now, we need some food. Actually, let's go down and see what uh, Nick's up to first. Where he, he disappeared a little while ago, but let's go check out where he's been working. Ugh. That's the bedrock I'm working up into. Next over here in this, ugh, in this hole. He's down about, oh, I don't know. He's got about a foot and a half, two feet of overburden, and he's about a foot down in here, into the water. Go check it, take a look at his box. Well, that's a shiny stuff. I don't know if it's gold or not. I 
He's got a lot of black sand, a lot of garnets in there though, which is a good sign in this area. There's a little nugget stopper right there. That's cool. No nugget though. Stop. Walk back over the creek now. Nick was wait still asleep and I woke him up. I pretended like I was uh game warden. But uh you see there's a lot of good spots in here. This all where I'm standing was actually part of the creek. <clears throat> At one point, probably about 15, 20 years ago. And you can see that still some water actually makes it up over this far because there's some metal right there bent around the tree. And, uh, that's why there's exposed bedrock over there. So this part of the creek hasn't really been exposed by water flow for quite some time. So that's why Nick's running his high banker over there. He's got the gold hog raptor going there on that. Right after this bedrock push goes down, it's sandy, and then there's a drop off, a bunch of big boulders, bedrock, and a bunch of gravel there. So that's where Nick's working. Let's see if I can uh, get some good footage of underwater before the water gets dirty again. You can see the that's the bedrock right there. And then uh, this is the big boulder that I've been dredging underneath. I'm down at the bedrock there. On this side, digging in. And I got the other side also. And then I got that big porch vein that falls through over to here. I had this all cleaned out, but more stuff's been falling back down, but it went all the way over into here. You can see this bare, bare bedrock here and there. It was just a day trip, so I mean, if I get any gold at all, I'm gonna be happy. All right, back to my business. Let me set this up over here. More water. Uh, I don't like that. So, go like this. Go more straight on. Oh yeah, baby. I'll bring it back on if I find something. Huh. Well, that is not good. But, like we were just talking about, I had three or four uh, jet jams where I was just fire hosing material out of the box a couple times. So I could have lost some there. And then, I mean, I did get down to bedrock, but wasn't necessarily in, in the best spot. I needed to be over here in these boulders. I was trying to work in that way. I couldn't wrap my hose around. So, excuses, excuses, but uh, regardless, it was still fun. You know, we had to get out with the boys and do a little bit of dredging. Nick got to use his high banker finally. And uh, yeah, at least we know. I mean, I got way better gold right up over there with less time, too, so I don't know. I don't know what Kevin's got going on over here with his pan. He's leaving it there as a gold trap for the hurricane. We've got a big hurricane coming through the area, so that's actually very beneficial for us because uh, we all know these rocks are gonna move. Every time there's a big hurricane, there was a big hurricane in this area a long time ago, probably about 10, 12 years ago now, I think. Um, and it really pushed a lot of gold and it caused a little bit of a gold rush in the area, so. 
We won't be back to this creek, I can tell you that. Oh. Sorry I didn't color too much gold for you. We got to take the dredge out and have some fun on the creek. Need some hamburgers. I bet you do. <laughs> Alright, well, those jabrones took off, so we're not gonna be able to do the little trick. We'll at least see uh, if Nick did end up getting any gold. We should be coming up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, too. Yeah. Not much. Three, three flakes? <laughs> <laughs> Still fun. Yeah, it's fun as fuck. Oh, look, there's a little pecker. There's a little tiny fucker. <laughs> Good day, we just had a downpour, and as soon as we're leaving, not bad. Calling in the power support. The hurricane already. One last thing before we go, we're taking a quick trip out to California, the end of September, so stay tuned.